How did stars traditionally get their names? Have you ever thought about it? Because of the prominent role of Muslim astronomers during the Islamic Golden Ages, many of the stars that have been named actually have an Arabic name. The names are Latinized, but we can often find traces of the Arabic words in them. Islamic astronomers such as Abdul Rahman al Sufi had an important role in the process of our knowledge of astronomy. They translated important information such as the famous work of Ptolemy al Majest. This work included an outline of Aristotle's cosmology. The motions of the stars, the moon, Jupiter, and Saturn, the eclipse, and so on. To be able to translate a work as complex as this, one had to have enough knowledge and understanding of the matter himself. The Arabic astronomers not only translated the works, but also added a lot of important information themselves. The list includes al tayr which comes from the Arabic name An-Nisar al tayr Rijal Kantaris came from the Arabic word Rijil al kanturis Betelgeuse, the Arabic word for this one is Ibn al jawza Danab, which is derived from the Arabic word Danab ud Dajaja, El Nitak, which is basically An Nitak in Arabic, and the Arabic word for Famal Hod is Fam Al Hul, and for Al Ghul is Ras Al Ghul. Many of the names of these stars were eventually copied and used in Europe, in a lot of times not knowing that the origin of these names is Arabic. Now you're gonna see a few examples of bright stars with a Although Latinized and Arabic name. Altair. The name of this star is actually a shortened version of An Nisar Uttair, meaning the flying eagle. It is 16.7 light years from the sun and is one of the closest stars visible to the naked eye and is one of the vertices of the Summer Triangle asterism. Rijal Canturus. Another star is named Rijal Canturus. It's derived from Rijal Ul Canturis. Translated, this would be Foot of the Centaur. Rijal Canturus is the closest star system to the solar system and the third brightest star in the night sky. However, its brightness is due to the proximity of the system, commonly known as Alpha Centauri, which is the Sun's closest neighbor and it's about 4.3 light years away from Earth. Betelgeuse. The famous star Betelgeuse, meaning armpit of the central one, comes from the Arabic name Ibn al Jawza. Betelgeuse is one of the longest known stars and is probably at least the size of the orbits of Mars or Jupiter around the Sun. That's a diameter about 700 times the size of the Sun or 600 million miles. Betelgeuse is approximately 724 light years away. Deneb. Danab is a shortened version of Danab ud Dajaja, meaning tail of the hen. Danab is the farthest and brightest star of the first 30 brightest stars in the night sky. Its diameter is more than 200 times that of the sun. Al Nitak, having the meaning of the girdle, originating from the Arabic word An Nitak, it becomes a most remarkable star in its own right the brightest class O star in the sky. Fam al -Hot. This star was given the name Fam al hol in Arabic, meaning mouth of the whale. Fam al -Hot also called Alpha Pisces Ostrini, the 18th star in order of apparent brightness. It lies in the southern constellation Pisces Ostrinus, approximately 25 light years away from Earth. al -Ghul. Al Ghul is the shortened version of the Arabic name Ras Al Ghul. We recognize the word Ghul in it. A Ghul is a figure in Arabic legends and is a kind of demon, scary monster. Arabic astronomers named it Ras Al Ghul, which means head of the ogre or head of the demon. There are many variable stars known throughout the heavens, but Al Ghul might well be the most famous variable star of them all. It's located at around 90 light years. The list goes on and on and on. So many bright stars have a name 
that originates from Arabic. Unfortunately, there is no room for all the stars in one article, but the list of the Arabic named stars are only one Google click away. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up.